Hello, Assalamualaikum dan selamat petang So, today video is all about buffer What is actually a buffer? So, a buffer is a natural or artificial solution that we mix with its solute So, if we mix with its solute So, the properties of buffer is able to resist changes in pH So, um, in acid and base to produce buffer, we will mix weak acid or weak base with its conjugate salt. So, for example, here we have weak acid. Weak acid, we consider it as um, HA. We denote HA as weak acid. So, weak acid dissociate partially to produce H plus and A minus. So, this is weak acid. So, weak acid partially dissociate. So when weak acid partially dissociate, the concentration of the acid itself, HA, is very high. Why? Because when acid partially dissociate, H plus is a better acid. So the reverse equation will produce more HA. So HA concentration is high. And when we mix with its conjugate salt, conjugate salt, MA, M is any metal ion. So Ma will completely dissociate into M plus and also A minus. So A minus is the salt. So conjugate salt completely dissociate. When, when conjugate salt completely dissociate, it will produce more A minus ion. So dalam erti kata lain, weak acid ada banyak concentration of HA. The weak acid itself, banyak concentration. And then salt, Co um, completely dissociate So bila completely dissociate Concentration of A- minus is high So when we mix both weak acid and conjugate salt We mix it together So what happens? We will produce buffer So buffer will have high concentration of HA And high concentration of A- minus. Okay, so that is buffer so how do buffer uh, resist changes in pH? So let's, you, let's use the previous equation HA plus uh, H plus and A minus So this is buffer uh, We recall it back Buffer contain high concentration of HA And high concentration of A minus So for example If we add acid into the buffer so what happened? So if we add acid into the buffer, H plus concentration will increase. So H plus concentration increase, bertambahlah concentration of H plus. So based on Lee Chatelier principle, high concentration of A minus will react and remove excess H plus. So disebabkan yang ini banyak tadi, H plus banyak, H plus banyak, nah ini. So apa yang berlaku? A minus akan react dengan H plus. So bila bila A minus react dengan H plus, what happen? Little change in the hydrogen concentration. Thus pH resistant or almost constant. So bila H plus increase, A minus yang tinggi concentration tadi akan react dengan H plus. It will produce more HA. So apa yang berlaku? Conclusionnya adalah HA increase a little. A minus decrease a little. What happened to H plus? H plus um, excess study will also decrease. Kenapa? Already been removed by excess H plus. And same goes. Kalau kita masukkan base ke dalam, so what happen is bila kita masukkan base ke dalam, the base or H minus hydroxide ion akan react dengan H plus. H plus concentration akan decrease. So, bila H plus, H plus concentration decrease, look at here, the H plus, daripada yang besar ni, bila kecil maksudnya H plus has been decreased. So, based on Lee Chatelier, if H plus decrease, how do they, the, uh, the Lee Chatelier want to react? Based on Lee Chatelier principle, high concentration of HA will dissociate more and it will replace H plus yang hilang ni tadi. So, HA yang tinggi concentration, it will dissociate more to produce H plus. So little change in H plus concentration, thus pH change resistant or almost constant. So HA will decrease a little. Sebab apa? Dissociate tadi. 
A minus ion will increase a little. Okay, so ini adalah how do buffer resist changes in pH. This is how the process works. So this is an example. This is uh, just a norm. What do we call an equation to represent buffer. So you can you can actually uh, give. I can give I can give example. So if let's say we have weak acid, kita adalah ethanoic acid. So our base should be sodium ethanoate. So bila kita mix dua itu, we will have our buffer. So buffer will react accordingly seperti apa yang saya dah saya dah apa explain tadi. Okay, so um, so we look at the example. So example, if an acidic buffer, acidic buffer will contain weak acid and its conjugate salt. So for example, contohnya adalah mixture of ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoate. So this is ethanoic acid equation. So look at this is ethanoic acid partially dissociated to produce H plus and so uh, ethanoic ion. And then we have the salt, sodium ethanoate. Sodium ethanoate completely dissociated to produce sodium ion and also ethanoic ion. So if we mix both of these together, so what happened? The concentration of HA, which is the weak acid, and the concentration of the salt, ethanoic ion, will increase. So high concentration of ethanoic acid and ethanoic ion. So this is uh, will help buffer resist changes in pH. So contoh untuk akalan buffer, the example adalah we mix weak base dengan conjugate salt. For example, here is ammonia and ammonium chloride. So this is ammonia equation. Ammonia dilute in water will produce partially dissociated in water to produce ammonium ion and hydroxide ion. So this is salt, ammonium chloride, completely dissociated to produce ammonia and chloride. So what happened if we mix both of this? We mix together. So what happened? High concentration of ammonia and high concentration of ammonium ion. So both concentration is high. For for the first example, both concentration of ethanoic and ethanoic is high. For the second example, ammonia and ammonium chloride is high. So bila tinggi in concentration, so it will resist resist pH change easily okay so i think that will conclude for the first video